Hello everyone and welcome back to my intro to Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series. In this episode I'm going to quickly um, go over the difference between a static mesh and a skeletal mesh. So a actually just a 3D model. Um, you can use Maya or Blender or something like that or you can you know get them off the marketplace to create a 3D model with a texture. Um, they're called static because they don't have animations. Uh, they, they can move though so if you go um, you go into this section, it can either be static, um, entirely stationary, or movable. Um, if I say movable, this thing, you can um, animate it with a sequencer. Uh, you could put physics on it, um, stuff like that, but it, it doesn't inherently have uh, its own animations. Um, but just say I wanted to make this thing have some physics. And for some reason, the simulate, uh, simulate physics thing is grayed out. I can go to edit this rock. Uh, I can go to collision right here and turn these on. It looks like, looks like there is a complex collision, but there is no simple collision. So I can quickly make one. If you go into collision here, I won't really go into all these different things, but you know, some, usually these will work fine. I'm just going to try, uh, 26 DOP. So that makes a simple collision um, right there. Save that. And you can see that like that's where the rock will hit and not um, go through the walls. So once you give it a regular collision, and we can um, move it around. You know? You can do things like increase the mass, so it seemed like that thing was, was moving a bit too much. You know. Play with the mass. Sorry. Um, and you can put constraints, we can do physics, we can do all kinds of stuff to it, but um, static meshes are essentially just a mesh. One other cool thing you can do to it is uh, make it destructible, which I'll go over later. Um, but I just wanted you to know that there's the static mesh, which have this kind of turquoise border underneath it and if I go to filters and look for skeletal meshes it has like a pink border um, if you open a skeletal mesh which is generally things that move so the car the crossbow the some of these characters um, I'll open up just this dude uh, so if you, when you open up a skeletal mesh you can see it, it has a lot of stuff in it up here so the skeleton is just uh, all of this stuff and you can go bone by bone and see uh, all of his um, bones. You can also uh, add a socket to a bone. So if I wanted to, you know, put a uh, weapon in his hand, I'd find his hand. I'd add a socket to it, and then tell the uh, weapon to, to to snap to that socket, and then the weapon can can move wherever his hand. Goes. Which again, you would make in. Maya or Blender or something like that. If you don't have one already, you can use the um, Unreal Engine Mannequin skeleton for most stuff. Uh, that's probably something I'll have to cover later as well. But he does come free, pre-rigged, and you can kind of put your own uh, models on top of it if they're bipedal. Um, but anyway, so it's a skeleton, and then on top of the skeleton is a is just the the model animation and you can kind of look through all the different animations and this is what you need a skeletal mesh for is to be able to to animate like that um, and then also skeletal meshes instead of having it's easy uh, with a simple collision but for skeletal meshes you you have to have a physics and it makes these kind of um, capsule physics uh, things and it kind of determines not all capsules you can do boxes or capsules but it determines where um, this thing will collide with the environment or other characters or whatever you can, um, which is kind of cool but it, it also automatically can create go in there and tweak them a bit um, so that's I mean that's a quick difference between a, a skeletal um, we'll go over more detail of of how they're used and um, 
you know, why you'd pick one or the, over the other and stuff like that. Um, but I hope that was a little bit of help clarifying that and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.